Hi there, I'm Emma from ePilates Online. Thank you for joining me. If you do come on live while I'm um, broadcasting, please say hi. I'd love to know that you're there. Um, please feel free to ask me any questions in the comment box. If you're watching the recording as well, I'll still also be able to answer any of your questions. So please pop in your details. So today is the second edition of Mondays on the Mat. And I spent most of my day recording today live videos because technology has not been on my side. So if you've already seen this video, uh, I hope that uh, you don't mind. It's coming on again if you're live. Um, and I just wanted to note that today I was going to do a class, but instead I've changed to doing a video on breathing and to explain to you the importance of breathing um, because I think it's really uh, in good timing to talk about this um, after the unfortunate news of Anthony Bourdain and Kate Spade's passing last week because uh, unfortunately anxiety and depression is uh, very common in in today's society and we all know that you know it can uh, take its toll obviously uh, these kind of conditions we all suffer at some point from uh, either not coping with life with stressful times um, we all have experienced our uh, own um, probably moments of anxiety or or not feeling the best um, and I think it's important to have the tools to uh, be able to deal with these uh, moments when they come up or even prevent them so today's video is all about breathing and I'll give you some of the benefits of good breathing um, because this really does help with uh, reducing anxiety stress um, depression even weight loss actually um, it can can help with um, it also helps to lower blood pressure all of these things so I'll go into a little bit more detail on this and also teach you a couple of tips on how you can practice better breathing techniques so um, as I mentioned all of these great benefits like lowering blood pressure um, like uh, weight loss and I'll tell you why um, Good breathing actually um, is determined by how we are, uh, hi Roger, how we're breathing and where our breath is going in our body. And I'll go into the details of that a little bit later in the video. Um, but it does help us to either relax more or feel more stressed, depending on which sort of way we're breathing. So definitely for relaxation, it's good to have good breathing techniques. When we're more relaxed, we're actually able um, to have less tension in the body. Our muscles then relax and then there's less pain in the body when there's less tension. We um, also uh, improve our concentration when we're breathing well. So we're able to focus a lot easier. Um, as we know, it improves oxygenation. So there is more oxygen circling through the body. Um, and this then helps us feel more alert. And it actually increases our stamina, um, which is a really good benefit. Um, the uh, also good breathing techniques help to um, help our lymphatic system function. So the lymphatic system actually... Uh, releases the toxins from the body and helps to to remove the toxins so when there's less toxins the body has a lot more energy to focus on um, better things like other functions of the body so uh, the functioning of the lymphatic system um, definitely is a really important one to note and this also then helps with weight loss um, not only um, through the lymphatic system does um, it enable us to to improve our weight weight gain or loss um, also through uh, lowering the blood pressure and detoxifying the body so the when we are breathing well we then allow the organs to um, function well and then that helps the circulation again of the blood so lots and lots of things okay many benefits um, the really big one though is 
the release of good hormones. So when we're breathing well, we actually release um, positive hormones in the body. When we're not breathing so well, we're releasing more of our stress hormones like cortisol, like um, adrenaline. And ideally, there's uh, less of the stress hormones released in the body than the good. The stress hormones actually contribute to things like anxiety, stress, um, insomnia, uh, high blood pressure, uh, even indigestion those sort of things. So the more we can have the good hormones uh, released and less of the bad, obviously the better we are. So the healthier we are going to be. And then how you know whether you're breathing well or not, we'll go into that now. So there are two types of breathing patterns. There's one which is short and sharp into the chest. Okay, so if you uh, don't take very good deep breaths, you will feel more uh, like you're sort of hyperventilating in a way, if you say, if you like, obviously not to that extreme. It doesn't have to be to that extreme, but shorter, sharper breaths is more the uh, fight and flight nervous system mode, we call it. So this is when we are um, often, if we're feeling stressed, not breathing deeply. And this is the, the nervous system that's used to run away from a tiger, for example. So we need it. This is inbuilt into our body. And this is to obviously keep us alive if we need it. Um, but these days, obviously, these moments don't happen very often. <laughs> but today's stresses are more like traffic jams or uh, family problems or uh, work stresses. So there's a lot of stress that we uh, experience these days. Um, which can cause us to go into this short, sharp breathing pattern. So when you're in this pattern, and often people just actually stop breathing, they don't even realize it, but they're even holding their breath. Fear will do this when you're feeling anxious or stressed. Sometimes you may hold your breath and not even breathe, let alone short, sharp breaths. Um, and it's, and it's common that we don't even realize how we're breathing. So if this is you and you've never really thought about how you're breathing, this would be a great exercise for you to do. So then there's the deeper breathing, which is more what we call our rest and digest nervous system mode. When we're breathing deeper into the body, the body's got the opposite effect. It's not in its stressed state. It's in its relaxed and rejuvenating state. And what we'll do now is we'll do a little exercise. Place one hand on the chest. And if you can do this at home anyway, you can do it seated. You can do it lying down. Um, place one hand on the belly, just below the belly button. And I want you now just, you can even close your eyes as you do it. Notice what's happening with your body. So as you breathe in, often the chest will rise and the belly will inflate and the ribs will expand. And then as you breathe out, the chest will drop, the belly will drop, and the ribs will close a little. So just notice if you feel that movement. And if it's your first time trying it and you don't feel it, that's fine. Just practice makes perfect, like everything. And some people actually feel the opposite. And that's okay too. That probably means that you are breathing shorter, sharper breaths into the chest. And when you start to bring the breath lower into the body, you'll start to feel the natural movement. The natural movement is the belly, the ribs, the chest expand on your inhale. And they close again on the exhale. So what I'm now wanting you to tell or to notice is how much your chest is moving up and down comparison to your belly rising and falling. For me, it's all quite equal. But a lot of people really do move the chest. Okay, and when I notice that in my clients, it means that you're actually using the muscles around the chest, we call them accessory muscles, to breathe rather than using 
more diaphragmatic breathing, which is the diaphragm, which is a big muscle under our ribs. And so that, when you move into the lower part of the body and deeper breathe, this is a lot more uh, into your rest and digest mode, as I mentioned. So now just do a little exercise. Place the hands one on top of the other on your belly. And then just notice now your belly rise and fall, focusing on directing the breath into the belly. If you've just joined me, say hi. We're doing a breathing exercise. So you can practice directing your breath either into the belly or a little into the ribs. But we're aiming to take it out of the chest. So we're aiming to just direct it into the body. And this is then going to slow down our nervous system a little or put us into the rest and digest nervous system mode and help us relax the body. So you may notice when you breathe short, sharper breaths, you're feeling more anxious. When you're breathing deep into the belly, you may feel more relaxed. And if you're with your eyes closed, you can open them now. So that's just a little technique for you to firstly notice how you breathe, because you may not even have been uh, paying attention at any point um, in your life or in your day. Um, and then to actually start directing your own breath. So it's when you focus on where you're breathing um, that you can control your moods. You can control how your body's feeling. And that's the beauty of this technique. So in Pilates, we always start a class centering the body. We always start uh, having you focus and concentrate on your breath. Uh, same in yoga. Um, because this then gets you in touch with your body. So we spend a lot of time in our mind thinking future, past, um, planning and looking back over times, worrying. And this can create tension. This can create stress and anxiety. So it's when you're connected to your body that you are a lot more relaxed and you're in the present moment. And so breathing is a huge um, importance in not only everyday life functioning but in how we feel and how we uh, operate in us in our daily life so you taking control or being aware of your own breath pattern is really helpful to stay um, happy to stay con con uh, focused um, alert and healthy uh, so I have many um, other breathing videos in uh, a lot of my um, programs that I offer. I offer the Core Fit Club membership, which is my online Pilates program. Um, so if you haven't already, hi Natasha, if you haven't already seen that, you can go on over to the website and have a look at that. Um, it's a monthly membership, which you can always join. I have breathing videos and obviously Pilates videos there for you available. Um, if you'd like to join my newsletter, feel free to sign up. I'll put a link in the comment box below. Um, and be sure if you've liked the video, tap on um, the little like button so that uh, more people will um, be able to see the video. And also, so I know that this is interesting uh, content for you. I would really love it as well if you uh, like this video and want something similar to let me know or if you'd like other topics for me to cover in future videos, um, pop it in the comments below or send me an email. That would be amazing. Um, and try and practice this technique. Really um, see how this can change your life. You can do this for a couple of minutes a day um, which will benefit you. It doesn't have to be long. Or you can even just do a couple of breaths. So it doesn't even have to be a lot. You just con controlling or, or focusing on your breath um, will give you uh, great benefits, no matter how many um, minutes you spend on it. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope it was helpful. Um, I'd love you to share this video with anyone you think could benefit from this. If you know anyone who has feel, uh, been feeling stressed or anxious, uh, or has depression, um, this will really help them. 
Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon on the mat. Bye for now.